The night session on day four of the Shanghai Rolex Masters featured a lineup guaranteed to please once again, as both Nadal and Federer were attempting to secure quarter-final places. Rafa opened proceedings on stadium court against the Austrian serve volleyer Jürgen Meltzer, and the 14th team was in a determined mood. The world number one appeared somewhat dazed and confused by Meltzer's all-out aggression and pinpoint accuracy. Austrian had chances to break early in the second too, but the world number one snuffed them out and began to dominate. Whoa! That's impossible. The ball hit one like this in the opening set where Jason said that Meltzer should have covered the line that time Meltzer is going toward the line and the ball goes back behind him. That angle is not possible. It all came down to a decider. Rafa was in the ascendancy, but Meltzer's patience and courage was immense, and he didn't deviate from his game plan. It's exquisite feel and extreme pressure. The world number one saved three match points in the eighth game, but he couldn't make it through. Beaten the world number one, Rafa Nadal, for the very first time in his career. And thoroughly deserves the victory. Advances to the quarterfinals here in Shanghai. And of course, does his chances the power of good in terms of qualification for the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals in London. A winner today in three sensational sets 6 1, 3 6, 6 3. Today I executed perfectly. I mean, I, I took all the power that I had in my shots, I took it to his forehand. He was struggling. Um, he started also to miss balls, which is very unusual for him, so I took my game at him and I tried to play my game and not letting him to play his game, but I mean, you don't, you don't play like this every day, especially against Rafa, but today I did and I'm really happy. Fifth seed Robin Soderling was up against David Ferrer, the beaten finalist last week in Beijing, and their third round match was a showcase of two vastly different styles of play. The big Swede had the 11th seed scrambling around the court with the sheer weight of his ground strokes. Ferrer was very much in the mix, but Soderling is making a healthy habit of playing the big points well, and could sense a place in the last eight wasn't far away. The final match of the day on Stadium Court featured third seed Roger Federer versus Italy's Andrea Seppi. And the Swiss maestro was in a merciless mood. Well, that's a perfect example. He can't take Federer out of his comfort zone, can't rush him into error. Yeah, I'm happy. It was a tough match. We had some really long and tough rallies with Seppi today. And he's a quality player. He doesn't miss much and he always stays on defensive. So I really had to work hard in the, in the defensive myself. And towards the end, I started to feel his stomach. He wasn't feeling so well. And I think also with the tough rallies and the thick air in here somehow, it kind of just works you up, you know. So I was able to take advantage of it and just pull away with the victory. Uh, I'm very happy. It was a tough match and uh, I'm excited about the next match. It was an action-packed day at the Shanghai Rolex Masters, with most of the seeds progressing to the quarter-finals. Except, of course, for the world number one, Rafa Nadal. It's been a day to remember for Jürgen Meltzer, producing the performance of his career on stadium court.
It's down to the last eight tomorrow, and you can see all the action live on TennisTV.com.